here. I'm working with Mrs. Samala this time for this module, and we're going to talk about photography and how steam or STEM has turned into steam. So let's just talk about that first. What is STEAM? STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. So you're gonna watch Mrs. Samla's video along with my video to put our projects together <clears throat> to make one. I'll talk about the technology side of it here in just a little bit. But notice uh, STEAM uh, creates uh, some both sides of your brain thinking, creativity, communication, critical thinking, problem solving, perseverance, passion, innovation, and others. Photography uh, has been around for a long time. This is the first surviving photo that was taken in 1826. I'm sure Mrs. Samla showed you this as well. That photo is 194 years old. History of photography, uh, all the way from 1021 to 2000. So there's 20 more years uh, addition, in addition to the history of photography that's not even here and has changed in this last 20, 20 years quite a bit uh, since the year 2000. Why art and technology? Well, what makes an uh, aesthetically pleasing website? If you think about it, Usability, first of all, uh, is you want to be able to have your website be usable if you create one. Also, what's really important is color. The color you used in your websites can drastically either improve or ruin the user's experience. So this is where art really takes precedence and when creating it. anything using technology, especially in photography. Pictures and graphics, no one wants to look at visually boring sites uh, if, you're, if you're making a website. So they use high quality photos and graphics that enhance the user's experience. And usually when you're on Amazon or uh, another site that you're purchasing stuff on, you're not gonna purchase from a, a website that probably doesn't look very nice. And then they use white space very well in, uh, within their websites. And Mrs. Samla, I'm sure, has talked to you or will talk to you about white space at some point. And then finally, uh, when you're using your text, you wanna make sure your information is clear and well organized so it is not cluttered and uh, for the user to, to uh, understand what you're trying to get across. On your camera, when we get into the use of your camera, you'll, have, you'll see a grid and I'll show you how to get this grid uh, up uh, on your camera. And notice how the tree is off the, in, to the right-hand side in this interacting, intersecting sign. This looks like a tic-tac-toe grid. It really is not. But photographers want to use these intersecting lines to put their subjects in. For the subject here is the tree. And it makes it aesthetically pleasing when these uh, subjects are in these uh, intersecting grids, uh, so intersecting lines, uh, when you take your picture. So you don't always want to take your picture right in the center of your uh, camera. So that's called the rule of thirds. And you can see your, what Mrs. Sama calls the hot points uh, are the circles right here. And that's where you wanna kinda of put your subjects in those hot points. And that just makes your pictures aesthetically more pleasing uh, to your brain. Or you can also fill the frame. And I have this picture here where the cow has filled the full frame of the photo. So you're going to go on a photo scavenger hunt. And I took some pictures I'll show you from a high angle, a shot above, from a low angle, uh, a shot from below or the side, maybe a kind of an ant's uh, point of view. And then I took, uh, took two pictures close up and far away. What you're going to need on your iPad is an app that looks like this called Pic Collage. Uh, if you do not have pick edu i think it's called uh, you're going to need to install it from self-serve i'll show you how to do that in just a little bit again that's what the app looks like from there you're going to go to uh, grids you're going to go to grids and you're going to find a grid of four where you can put four pictures you can pick any grid you want and i'll show you that in a little bit you're going to upload your pictures and once you upload your pictures or select your pictures to upload, 
they'll go into your grid something like this and there's some other things that you can do to your grids uh, once your pictures are uh, on your page. And I'm not sure exactly what Mrs. Samla is going to have you do. I'm just going to go over the basics on how to use, use pic collage. And then after you're finished, you're going to save it to your library and you're going to upload it to Seesaw and I will also show you how to do that. So let's get started using just the camera. For the camera, you're going to find uh, the icon that looks like this camera tap on it you can see I don't know if you can see the faint grid lines on my camera here you can see my wonderful background of my uh, drink that I'm drinking and a, a bag there so but if you don't have this grid this is how you would get the grid for your camera you would go to settings you're gonna go to camera oops right there and it says grid right here and if it's not green that means your grid is off so you're just going to tap it so it turns green and now your camera grid will be on let's go back to my camera and there's my camera grid you're going to take a photo keep this on photo but you can also uh, try some different uh, items here after you do the assignment for Mrs. Samla. So you're just going to keep that in photo. You're going to tap this solid dot right here to take a picture. Looks like I just took a picture. And, uh, and then that'll save to your uh, library or onto the iPad so you can upload it to Picolage. Let's talk about Picolage. So Picolage, I said you might have to get into self-serve. Self-serve is right here. So you might have to go into self-serve and find Picolage. It is an ABC order. So if you just scroll down to the letter P, you should find Picolage right there. Picolage, that one. And once you download it, it will look like It'll look like this right here. There we go. Rotate my screen here. Oh, nope, I don't have to. And you're gonna choose grids. You can uh, explore with freestyle or templates, but right now, I think Mrs. Samla just wants you to choose grids. We're gonna tap on grids. You're gonna choose a four uh, by four grid. So I'm gonna choose, you could choose this one. This one holds four pictures. I'm gonna choose this one here because that one also holds four pictures. So I'm gonna tap on that. And now I'm going to uh, find my pictures. And to do that, I'm gonna tap on a square. Oops, I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna tap on a square. And I go to photos. And I had already took my pictures. Uh, and I do not see, oh, there they are. Uh, so I took a top, a bottom, I'm going to get rid of that one, a top, no, I took two top, looks like, so top, and where's my side, oh, and a far away, close up, far away, and side view. So I'm going to press the check mark for all four of those, and they pop right into your pic collage. Now, in my pictures, I, Mrs. Samla gave me a bowl of fruit, and I said, I'm going to put a robot in my bowl of fruit, and What's interesting about this picture is I want you to see if you can find the strawberry in my bowl of fruit. And some pictures, there's a picture where you're going to see it. There might be even two pictures where you see it to see if you can find that strawberry in my fruit bowl here with my robot dash. So you also have some options down below that you can add, and I'm not sure exactly what Mrs. Samla wants you to do, but I'm just gonna go over some of the tools down here. So you can add some backgrounds if you wanted to, and I'm just gonna, you can change the layout of the colors. Remember we said the white space is important, right? Your, your white space is gonna be your border of your picture. I like white, but you could change it to purple or red or blue. You can also add some designs if you wanted. So if I wanted to add some designs, I could add a design instead. Uh, so you can be a little creative in how you want your background again, but think about what Mrs. Uh, Samala talks to you about color, okay? So I probably might want to put some yellow in there because I have a yellow banana. 
uh, in my picture, and I might want to add that in there just like that. Okay. Yep. Uh, so next, we want to go ahead and that was, I'm going to go back, there we go. And I already have my photos in here, so I'm not going to go to photos, but you have some sticker options. You could add some stickers if you wanted. Uh, you could add some text if you wanted. So if you have a, a pet, you might want to name your pet. So if I want to say I have Dash here, I want to say Dash, my Dash robot, right? So... Oops, and it looks like I lost my word there for a second. So, type that in there again, dash, there we go, and we'll put the check mark, and there's dash. And I can move that word anywhere I want. Or if you want to label your fruit, or you want to say a, a pet's name, if you're choosing to do a pet around your house, you can do whatever you want. I can also take that arrow and make it bigger. I can turn it. Uh, so you can be real creative with that. You can also uh, change the text font uh, on that. And I can just click on the T and I have all kinds of font text. I can change the color of the, of the letters as well. So there's lots of things you can do with this, uh, the lettering on there if you want. But remember, it's about the picture uh, for this activity. It's not necessarily always about the words. Uh, and then uh, you could doodle on it if you wanted. You can actually write on this if you want. And uh, by clicking that and change the colors at the bottom as well. So I'm going to clear that. And there we go. All right. So that is picolage in a short uh, version. So if my picture, if I felt I was finished with my activity, and you might want to put your name on here so Mrs. Samla uh, knows it's you. I don't think you have to because we're going to upload it to Seesaw. So when I say I'm done, I'm going to press the word done. And you can explore some of these tools again uh, after you're finished. It's going to bring you to save to library. So I'm just going to save it to my library. So I just clicked save to library. You can see the check mark. And now I'm going to actually go to more. And I'm going to upload it to Seesaw right there. So I'll tap on Seesaw. And if I want to share it to a sample student, I'm just going to share it to a sample student. I'm going to press the check mark. It's preparing the item. And you would share it to Mrs. Zamala and I, because I want to see the technology part of your assignment to see if you can do this. It should now be in that sample student. Uh, so, and that was in first grade, I believe. Let's see if I can find it real quick. So I'm going to find my Seesaw app. Let's see here. There it is. And there's a, it's posted in my sample student. It popped right up. So there we go. So that's it for my end of it. If you have any questions, remember uh, in the module, if we're still distance learning, you can always log in and you can talk to me uh, about how to do an activity or if you have a question. I'm excited to see what you come up with uh, and uh, hopefully uh, what you come up with is, is uh, a lot of fun. Thanks and have a great day.